Congressman, thanks again for your time. Sure, great talking to you tonight. It's great to be with you. Thank you. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, Emily Miller at The Washington Times has been doing some reporting recently about uh, uh, U.S. service members caught up in the District of Columbia's gun control laws, uh, including the case of Lieutenant Augustine Kim, uh, who is on his way down to South Carolina. Lieutenant Kim finally... Uh, months later, got his guns back uh, earlier this week. But uh, as Emily talks about, you've got a, a, a bill uh, that would have helped uh, Lieutenant Kim and would certainly help uh, millions of other law-abiding gun owners. Well, absolutely. It makes it very clear uh, what I think the original intent of the bill was, and it makes it e even clearer that if you're traveling from a state where guns are lawful to another state where guns are lawful, and you follow the rules set up by the federal government to make sure that your gun is you know, in a locked container and, and not within the wingspan, so to speak, then you don't have to uh, worry about being harassed by going through some place like D.C. that doesn't uh, respect our Second Amendment rights or New York or New Jersey airports or places where we've had uh, other problems. And one of the, the really nice things I like about the bill is, is that in this case with uh, Lieutenant Kim is that he would be in a position, had they pushed it, he would be able to sue... D.C. and have them pay for his attorney's fees in doing so if they had prosecuted him improperly. And, I, and the reason I like that is, is all it takes is one good case, and every risk management team in the country is going to start telling their law enforcement folks, look, if it's a good, clean arrest, if somebody's violated the law, go forward with it, but you better make sure that you're not picking on somebody just because your jurisdiction doesn't like guns. Well, yeah, I mean, you know, again, for Lieutenant Kim to get, uh, uh, you know, thrown in jail for two days because he got lost on his way leaving a doctor's appointment. He wasn't supposed to go to the doctor. Uh, there was a case of Brian Aiken in New Jersey who was facing seven years behind bars because he had uh, stopped off uh, at his parents' house while he was moving. And the uh, police in New Jersey said, well, you're not allowed to stop anywhere. Uh, you know, they're, they're, I, I, I have a hard time believing, uh, Congressman, that uh, we're going to be safer by arresting somebody, throwing them in jail because they stopped to get gas or a cup of coffee uh, while they had their firearms locked up in the trunk of their car. Well, you're absolutely right. It's just ridiculous. But, you know, you have certain jurisdictions in this country that that don't like guns and don't respect our Second Amendment rights, and this just makes it clear that we're not coming from the federal government telling them they have to do everything the way we, we want them to do it. But when you've got somebody in transit, leave them alone. Absolutely. So where is your bill right now, Congressman? Well, we, it has been filed. We are getting uh, co-sponsors for the bill. What we're looking to do is to build up as many co-sponsors, so I would encourage all of your listeners to contact their congressman and ask them to co-patron the bill. And uh, we are getting as many co-sponsors as we can. We have 37 currently. We'd love to get it up over 100 uh, in the next uh, few weeks because we think that gives us uh, the ability then to go to the committee and say, hey, we've got you know more than 100 uh, co-sponsors on this bill. We'd really like it for you to hold a hearing on it. Okay, so we need to get some uh, public pressure. Uh, uh, gun owners need to be contacting their representatives now. Yes, sir, and that's H.R. 4269. H.R. 4269. Well, listen, uh, Congressman, thank you so much for your time tonight, sir, and uh, hopefully we'll have you back on here in a couple weeks with some good news. I look forward to it. Thank, thank you. Thank you, sir. Congressman uh, Morgan Griffith joining us here on Cam & Company.